Hey what's up people welcome back to another video so in this video I'll show you how to fix error establishing a database connection as you can see I'm getting this error this usually happens when you when your website is not able to connect with the database and uh, you will get this error so I recently tried to change the password of my database and this happened so to fix this you have to first log into your cPanel so let me quickly log into the cPanel and uh, navigate to MySQL databases. This is where all your databases will be. So you can see that we have a database here with this name. And uh, we also have a privileged user. So that means we have a database and the user which is already created when installing the WordPress. If you want, you can create a new user and uh, change these settings. Uh, in the cPanel. So because we already have a, a current user, a privileged user for this, so this is the username. And uh, if you want to change the password, if you don't remember the password, you can just click on change password and uh, enter a strong password here. So let me quickly enter a password for demonstration. Mind you guys, this is not the final password for my website. This is just uh, for testing. So click on save password. And once this is done, you have to uh, go back to the root directory of your website and uh, update this username with uh, the database. So to do this, you'll have to uh, first go back to your cPanel. Let me open cPanel in a new tab. And then navigate to File Manager and open that. And always make sure you you will find all the files in public underscore HTML. So in public underscore HTML, you have to edit a file, which is wp-configure.php. So this is the file. Make sure you download a copy of this file just in case if there are any errors and uh, select the file right click on edit edit again and here if you scroll down you will see the database settings so all this is in different programming language so all you have to do is just make sure that the password that you have recently changed is updated here so this is the password which was by default uh, updated by WordPress. So I'll change this to our new password that we just configured, we just uh, changed. So this is the password, all is well, one, two, three, four, and uh, DB password, that's database password, and the database username and everything, and save settings, save changes. And just close this and uh, go back to your website and try to refresh. And that should work. There you go. The website is now connected to the database. So that's how you can fix this error establishing a database connection because it's a very minor error that usually happens because when you change the username password or website for some reason is not able to connect with the database. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.